Hi, this is Dr. Amalu from facultyworkshop.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly create an AI generated quiz for Canvas using free online tools and it will only take us a few minutes to do so. Now this tutorial is gonna be a little bit longer than the usual ones that I post and that's because there are several things that we need to cover. In today's tutorial, what we're gonna cover are four things. First, I'm gonna show you how to create quiz questions with a chat GPT tool. So essentially we will look at a document or a article or a piece of passage that you might have that you want to generate quiz questions out of. So you don't even need to create the quiz questions yourself. This tool will basically scan a document or piece of text that you have and it will generate the quiz questions for you. The next thing that we're going to learn is how to correctly format those quiz questions that are generated by ChatGPT so that we're able to go ahead and convert them in the next part. So once we've got our questions formatted correctly, we're going to convert them into the correct file format that can be uploaded online. And once we formatted the file, the last step is to import the quiz to Canvas. And with that, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is create some quiz questions using ChatGPT. One of the things that I usually like to do in my classes at the beginning of the semester is to have the students read my syllabus and then I typically give them a syllabus quiz. So that's the example that we're gonna be using right now. Uh, this is a sample syllabus that I have that includes my course rules and class policies and the student expectations. So let's say that I wanna generate a quiz out of these policies right over here. So what we're going to do here is a couple of things. First, we are going to go to Google Drive and we are going to use the Google Forms add-on called GPT Quiz Generator to help us with this task. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new form. Click on yes over there and we don't have to title this because we're going to delete this. All we want to do is basically use this add-on that is associated with Google Forms to be able to help us generate quiz questions very quickly using ChatGPT. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the three little dots right over here and we are going to click on get add-ons. And we're going to search for a particular add-on and that is the title GPT Quiz Generator and we're going to select this particular one right here. Click install, continue, select the account, scroll to the bottom and click allow. Click done and go ahead and close out of the marketplace. We're back in our form and what we're gonna do here is we are gonna click on the puzzle icon at the very top. This is the add-on icon. So let's go ahead and just zoom in a little bit. And we're going to select the add-on that we just installed called GPT Quiz Generator for Forms. And we're going to click on Start. Great. So this is where all the magic happens. What we want to do is we want to paste the section of our document that we want to generate quiz questions out of. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of this text. We're going to copy it and we are going to paste it right here. All right, now you've got the option of creating multiple choice questions or so other options right over here, check boxes or drop down. We're gonna actually select the multiple choice and questions count. So this is asking you how many questions would you like generated out of the text that you just pasted? And I want to have five questions created and I want each question to have four possible answers. And I want to have the answers listed in alphabetical format. This is important because it's going to help us later on once we format our questions in an appropriate way for Canvas, okay? And there's going to be only one correct answer. In the model section, you are actually going to have several versions of ChatGPT that you can utilize. However, these are limited unless you actually pay for the subscription for this add-on. However, we are going to go ahead and use the 3.5 Turbo because it is not limited. 
And you've also got the option, by the way, of loading text from Google Docs. So in this particular example, I pasted text out of my syllabus and pasted it here. And the reason that I did that is because I did not want to create a quiz out of my entire syllabus. I specifically wanted the quiz to be based on my course policies and uh, student expectations. However, let's say that you do have a document that you want to create a quiz out of. For example, I've got a sample article over here. And let's say that I wanted to create a quiz out of this entire article. All I would have to do is basically go back to the form and instead of pasting the text, I can simply click on load text from Google Docs and select the file and it, it'll automatically populate this section. All right, so in this particular example, we've got some text over here that I wanna create a quiz out of and we've selected the version of ChatGPT that we wanna use. Now we're gonna click on generate quiz questions. This could take a few minutes depending on the amount of text that you have and the number of questions that you would like to generate. So the more text that you that you have in this particular dialog box here and the more questions you want created, the longer it's gonna take. Now this didn't take very long because it was only five questions. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to review the questions and make sure that they are all accurate. And I'm also checking the answers here to make sure that they're all correct as well. And this all looks perfect to me. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to copy all of this and I'm going to paste it into a text file. So I'm gonna to go to notebook and we can go ahead and minimize all of this and paste your questions right here. All right, so now that we've generated our quiz questions using ChatGPT, what we're gonna do next is we are going to correctly format the quiz questions. Now, this format looks like it's fine, but it actually is not. What we need to do is we need to add numbers. So each question should be preceded by a number. So we need to do that for all of these questions. And then the next thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and identify the correct answer. So in this particular one, the correct answer is C. So what we need to do is we want to put an asterisk right over there before the letter and delete that right there. So we're going to go ahead and add a asterisk right there. So this is also B. The correct answer is D here and this one is C. So we're gonna go ahead and delete all of this. Great. Now we need to format the letters right over here. So the format that we need to use is basically lowercase a. And then we wanna put a close parentheses just like that and get rid of the period. So instead of doing this manually, we could actually use the find and replace function in Notepad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit and we're gonna click on replace and we are going to do capital B period and we are going to replace it with a lowercase b and a parentheses just like that and just like magic. All of these already changed. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the other letters. So we're gonna do C. Replace all, and now we're gonna do the same thing for D. Great. All right, so now we can go ahead and close out of this and make sure we don't have extra spaces or lines between the questions. We just need to have one. Great, okay. All right, the next thing that we want to do is we need to go ahead and save this file as a text file. So we're gonna go ahead and click on File, Save As, and then we're gonna put this on the desktop, and we'll call this Quiz.
Okay, so now we've got the quiz that we created as a text file right there. What we now need to do is convert that text file into a QTI file format. And for that, we are going to need another web tool. So we are going to go to Google and we are going to type in free online QTI converter. There are several converters out there that are often by, offered by several universities that are available online. Uh, as you can see here, we've got one from Kansas State University. We've got one over here. This is actually from the San Diego State University. And then you've got New York Institute of Technology. We're going to go with the one from San Diego. So let's just go ahead and click on this one right here. And let's go ahead and take our text file and simply drag it and drop it right there. And as you can see, this did not work. And the reason that it did not work is right over here. The syntax for something on the file is incorrect, but it actually gives us an indication right over here, the extension. So if I were to go and open the document, you'll notice that I've changed the A on the first question, but not the second question. So that's what we're going to need to do here to fix this problem. So we are going to replace that with great. And that should solve the problem. Okay, so it looks like the syntax here is correct. And that's why we need to prepare the file to make sure that it is going to get accepted by the converter. All right, so I've saved this file, I've closed it. And let's go back and try this again. Actually, let's try to refresh this page. And let's try, take that text file, drop it back in here. And as you can see, this worked, it gave me a check mark. And at the very top, it actually automatically down converted and downloaded the file that I need uh, to upload to Canvas, which is going to be the next step. Uh, let's go ahead and locate that file though, first of all. So I don't want to open this. Um, so let's go ahead and open the folder. And there it is. So we are going to take that and we will drop it right over here. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and maximize this and let's go ahead and pull in our canvas course. So I've got a canvas course that is an empty course shell right here. So what we're going to do here is we are going to click on import existing content and it says content type. Let me go ahead and zoom in over here so it's easier to see. Select one. We are going to select qti.zip file, choose a source, and this is on my desktop, and there it is, quiz.zip, and default question bank, we're going to say create a new question bank, and we're going to call this syllabus quiz. All right, and we are going to click on import. And as you can see, the job is queued and it's already done right there. It's complete. Uh, let's go ahead and check and see how it looks. If we go to quizzes, there is our quiz. If I click on it, we should be able to preview the quiz and see the questions. And there we have all of the questions that we use ChatGPT generate and then we were able to format it. Then we were able to use this QTI converter tool, and then we uploaded it to Canvas. And this is how you can use ChatGPT and online AI tool to speed up the process of generating quizzes from your own content, and then be able to upload this to Canvas. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to be notified as soon as we release another video. If there's something specific that you would like to learn, please post your request below this video in the comment section. Thank you for watching.